Welcome to the Startup Funding Espresso. I'm Halti Martin, the host of this show, where we talk about raising funding for your startup and the time it takes to have an espresso. I hope you enjoy this episode. Hello, this is Halti Martin with the Startup Funding Espresso, your daily shot of startup funding and investing. In running a diligence process, it's important to keep track of the progress of the team members. Set frequent follow-up calls to check progress and resolve issues. Follow-up calls should be scheduled and led by the deal lead. A check-in call should take no more than 30 minutes. In the follow-up calls, make sure the team members share their information on the Google Doc format so the lead can start compiling the information into the final diligence report. Take notes directly into the report, including outstanding issues and questions for the startup. In most cases, new information about a startup will come to light that may give the team pause about continuing with the investment. If the new information is a major change, then the deal lead should gather feedback from the group and follow up with the startup to get clarification. Plan on two follow-up calls in your month-long diligence process. Thank you for joining us for the Startup Funding Espresso, where we help startups and investors connect for funding. Let's go start up something today. Alti Martin is the director of Investor Connect, which is a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to the education of investors for early-stage funding. All opinions expressed by Hall and podcast guests are solely their own opinions and do not reflect the opinions of Investor Connect. This podcast is for informational purposes only and should not be relied upon for the basis of investment decisions.